Amigos, bienvenidos a Lone Lobos. Uh, mi amigo Gianni Decenzo. Hola, la biblioteca. <laughs> Gianni, ¿cómo estás? Eh, nada. <laughs> ¿Y tú? <laughs> no pasa nada. Uh, ah. Mi amigo Solo. Oh, sí. Y... <laughs> Solito. Solito. Uh, solito. Uh, recuerdo. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice record a video for us? ¿Qué dijiste? That so he quiet. wants us to watch. Solo grabó un video para nosotros. Solo uh, graba un video para nosotros. Is that right? More or less. Okay. Ah, sí. Ah, silencio. Lo siento. Lo siento. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice watch, bitch? Okay, Jesse from Breaking Bad. <laughs> Bitch! How do you say watch? Vamos a mirarlo. Is there an easier way to say that? That is the easy way. How you uncultured it? swine. Vamos a mirarlo. Vamos a mirarlo. No, but close enough. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, boys? Fresh from the studio. Podcast. How y'all doing? Sorry I couldn't make it this week. My schedule is fucked up. I can't lie. Um, Johnny, thank y'all for subbing in. Yeah. Um, I got a couple of questions, a couple of things. First, I want to know, Johnny and Jacob, what song reminds you of the other, of the opposite person? Johnny, what, oh. what song reminds you of Jacob? And Jacob, what song reminds you of Johnny? And secondly, you know, you guys have been Hawk and Dimitri for almost six years now. It's true. My binary brother. We're pretty familiar with your character and also the other half of the binary brother. Too familiar. Um, I, uh, or rather, ChatGPT threw up a, a, a script <laughs> of Hawk and Dimitri. Oh. And sorry. I want to see if you guys can, in character, oh. do each other. The other person's character, that is. Oh. Not that kind of script, man. Scene. Okay. Y'all, love you guys. Miss you guys. Love thanks, you. Thanks, Gianni. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Monica. Thanks, Jacob. And thanks, Lone Lobos. Love Bye. you, boo-boo. Bye, Sholito. Bye. This, this, this is a cold read, by the way. Neither of us have seen this. Yep. This is our... Our true acting prowess will shine through. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Oh, you're being Hawk. You're Hawk. Oh, I'm Hawk? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn, this is so accurate. Yeah. All right. Your first line would totally happen to me. <laughs> Wait till you see who the hottest girl is. Okay. Oh, God. Hawk swaggered into the cafeteria, his mohawk standing tall and a mischievous grin on his face. Guess what, Dimitri? I got myself a date with the hottest girl in town. Dimitri, holding a tray of food, looked surprised but interested. Really? Who is she? Oh, you know her. A real wildcat. Carmen Rodriguez. Dimitri raised an eyebrow. Carmen? Wait, seriously? I I've been seeing her too. We're, we're kind of hitting it off. Hawk laughed boisterously. <laughs> well, Dimitri, looks like we're both vying for the same territory. Good luck keeping up with this. Dimitri remained composed. Let's not turn this into a rivalry. Carmen deserves to choose who she wants to be with. No need for chaos. Hawk smirks. Uh, chaos is my middle name, buddy. <laughs> Get ready for the competition of a lifetime. As they continue bantering, the cafeteria buzzed with anticipation for the unfolding romantic clash. Oh, the cafeteria knows about this. That's funny. <laughs> Hawk, Hawk continued to revel in his boisterous demeanor, attracting attention from fellow students. Dimitri, unfazed, calmly sipped on his drink. Oh, wow. Mm. Uh, you think you stand a chance, Dimitri? I'm a force of nature. Carmen's gonna see that I'm the real deal. It's not about being a force of nature, Hawk. It's about being genuine and respectful. Maybe that's something she'll appreciate. Hawk scoffed. <laughs> Respect, please. <laughs> I'm not here for a tea party. I'm here to show Carmen a good time, and I guarantee she won't forget it. Just then, <sighs> Carmen walked into the cafeteria, <laughs> catching the attention of both Hawk and Dimitri. Monica. She noticed their intense exchange. 
hey, what's going on here? Sexier. Hawk, <laughs> with a dramatic flourish, gesture toward Dimitri. Oh, Dimitri and I are uh, Dimitri and me competing for the title of your favorite date. I Fav- know Chat GPT is <laughs> me competing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just Dimitri and me competing for the title of your favorite date. Carmen looked amused but skeptical. Really? Well, I'm not a prize to be won. I'll decide who I want to spend time with. You go, Dimitri girl. nodded in agreement. Exactly, Carmen. No need for unnecessary drama. Let's keep this civilized. Hawk rolled his eyes. <laughs> civilized is boring, but fine. Let the games begin. May the best man win. As the tension lingered, the cafeteria became a battleground for the affections of Carmen Rodriguez. Ooh. Setting the stage for unexpected... Setting the stage for an unexpected <laughs> romantic rivalry. I'm scared of where this uh, will oh, go. Oh, it's the end. That's oh. It. No, there's Cliff- more. Cliffhanger. Oh. That's I'm it. really scared. Like, was this like a PG... Jet chat GTP or like was oh this... no 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 there's another it's like a no safe that's search. it that was all of oh, it oh that is it oh oh my gosh the anticipation dude what's gonna happen what do you think happened not gonna lie I think Hawk probably wins that one yeah I think <laughs> <laughs> it's also crazy because Dimitri is actively dating Yasmin <laughs> and it's like really I too have been seeing her <laughs> like Dimitri's just secretly a gentlemanly dog <laughs> yeah I can use it's. Yeah, it still sounded like Dimitri though. Uh, were you trying? You were trying to be Hawk. I don't. Think was you, I? Oh yeah. You, you were supposed Damn, to. Damn. Way to just more of a fuck dick. him up. What the heck? You're are you just be, trying to say I, to be more of an asshole? Are you saying I'm just like always a nerd? Is that like your way of just putting Dude, me down? Dude, damn, Jordan. Um, I would never fine. put you down like that. <laughs> I just we just, just met, and I'm not. I'm not a kind of put down. Guy. We did just but meet, yeah. and I loved you, man. But yeah. Damn, you said loved in the past tense. Um. Well, this is awkward. I would love you. Like, <laughs> dang, that's crazy. Carmen, I've been seeing her and Moon and Yasmin as well. (laughs) Well, let's not compete. (laughs) And the principal. That was good. Oh, God. (laughs) Hey, you added that in there for you. Great job. That was Gianni talking. I don't know. I don't know. Great job, guys. Gianni loves the principal. I'll kill that. She's great. Well, thank you, Sholo, for sending us that uh, script Chad that Chad GPT script. wrote. I'm pretty thank sure you. just he pulled it from his fan fiction website. Yeah, but yeah, he's, nice, he's nice trying cover to up. say he didn't write that. Yeah, I know. He's definitely Come like, on. oh my god, my friends with my mom. Yeah. Yes, it's so cool. Well, you know what? He had to at least put the prompts in there, so it still came from him. Oh yeah, Hawk and Dimitri <laughs> vying over his mom. Yeah, and then he'll be like, tell Chad GPT, Chad GPT uh, make it make it sexier. Yeah. Make Hawk meaner. That's what I'm saying. Like, what What if he turned off, like, the safe God, like, why, safe is, why is Hawk... I feel like Hawk isn't that much of a dick, guys. He's I think, a ladies' man, but he's a nice ladies' man. He buys his girlfriend jewelry, okay? I think every interaction you've had with Moon <laughs> has been, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, weirdly manipulative. <laughs> like, always off to the... In the distance, in the corner. <laughs> Yeah. I'm trying to think. What is the But that's the same for Dimitri. What do you mean? He just kind of watched Yasmin until they started dating. I don't know. You didn't watch, buddy. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna take the fifth <laughs> on that one. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, Gianni. It's good to have you oh, back. Hey, man. thank you for having thing, me. <laughs> this, this is the segment because we talked about Yasmin right before this. Yeah. I don't think I've told this story on the podcast, speaking about you and Yasmin. Um, it's pronounced Yasmin. Get it right. Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, I remember when you first had to do your your kissing scenes with uh, Annalisa. Yes. And the first time you did it was a scene with Sholo and Mary. Yeah. And Sholo just came. I wasn't there, but Sholo came back to me after that day on set. And he was like, "Dude, it was so funny. <laughs> like Gianni was so nervous. <laughs> like as everyone would be, you know." He was like, "Dude, Gianni was so nervous and it just like I just felt really bad like da 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 and I messed up yeah. my lines once and they had to like restart and Gianni just looked at me like, "Well, <laughs> <laughs> like are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> you know the worst part about all of that though? What? The first time we like went full hardcore makeout, it was a rehearsal. We didn't know <laughs> so, so we were like going at it and they were like, all right, that's great. Uh, let's roll on this one. We're like, what? On this one? On what? Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, well, but I mean, it worked for my character. I was just like, all right, Dimitri would be. So I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just going to stand there. No, but my, my favorite thing is, so Shul told me this and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. And so next week we had 
like a a prom party scene. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> we had this, I hate you so we much. Had this prom party scene. Uh, yeah. I'm talking to uh some of the camera operators and I was like, dude, you know what'd be really funny? Cause in this scene, it just starts off with Annalisa and Gianni making out on the couch. Yeah. And I'm She's sitting on alone. my lap. Yeah, I'm yeah, she's on his lap making they're making out. And I am sitting alone. I'm really sad. And I say a line to Dimitri, and that's what stops them from kissing and like starts the scene. And so I'm talking to, I think it was Brandon, one of the camera ops. And I was like, dude, you know what'd be really funny? Is if I just didn't say my line. Is <laughs> they call action and I just don't say anything. <laughs> I didn't realize there was this much planning. <laughs> and so we, we in all of this, we sit down, we go, they yell action. And like, you know, they, I got the note of like, you know, wait like three, four beats and say your line. And so I'm just sitting there and sitting there and they're like kissing and kissing and kissing. I can see Gianni like <laughs> mid kiss be like this. He's like, <laughs> like look. <laughs> Out of his eye. Wait, so you've never told him this? Until uh, I know. I didn't know that he planned it. I, pl- I mean, he was in the room. And well, then I like, it must have been 20 seconds. And I think some of the camera ops, and, like some of the crew started giggling like, a little bit. It felt like three minutes. <laughs> and then finally people started laughing. I'm like, okay, am I, do I just keep going? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, don't even, I think I said my line, but at that point, everyone was just yeah. laughing and thought it was funny. Um, that's one of my like favorite moments on set. I don't know. I love the messy. I'm glad you enjoyed that moment on set. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you back <laughs> because now D- Hawk is with uh, Moon. Bro, I'm with everybody. Season six, that Carmen little piece. That's just a taste. Is that first draft, dude. The Carmen. second draft. That was the second draft. Oh, that they're Daniel. firm on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Amanda, you're trying to like work your way into the uh, in the movie. <laughs> Ralph, <laughs> Nana, <laughs> Crease. <laughs> Stingray? Sting. Ooh. <laughs> Stingray. <laughs> oh, Give me a little Paul Walter Hauser in there. Okay, this is making... Okay, all right. You know, this is making right. us uncomfortable. All right, all right. You know what's crazy, though? You know, every time um, Marty says who he would like to play, if he could play anyone else, uh-huh. it is uh, Tori. Oh, yeah. So it is possible. What? If he pulls enough strings, he could... <laughs> <laughs> in the, you just... You say it, man. They could just do like a behind shot. He's in a wig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just. <laughs> and I will never say my line. Yeah, he's like, I will say, and he's like, and you know, Marty would never stop. <laughs> Marty would be like, I don't know whose line it is. He's I never knew whose line it was. <laughs> I even know there was, I didn't know there was kissing in this scene. I just am the part. I just, you know, this is what Tori would do. <laughs> Marty's so mad that he's. Alrighty. Any hoodle. We got some questions submitted, y'all, from Discord. I mean, not Discord, but from Reddit, Instagram. Uh, la um, Reddito. There is a fan Discord, so I did actually Uy, get some on there. But So we made a thread for some questions. Monica has some questions on Instagram. Pick a song that represents the oh, dynamic that's... between Eli and Dimitri. Oh, okay. dude. I have one. The dynamic? Okay. What? Mine is... um. Well, Whip It by Devo. <laughs> you're just saying that. What? You're just saying that because of our. Uh, it's the thing. It's, it's that's the, our little. It's the first thing I think of. That's that was our little um, green screen sesh, right? Binary Brothers. That's what I'd say. I'm gonna say a uh, thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm. This is my genuine answer. Oh, genuine. Okay, yeah, I think of it. Because think about it. No matter what has happened between us, we've always our characters have always come back together. They've always like, oh no, you're in a different dojo. Oh no, you broke my arm. But, but I still walked a thousand miles for you. Aw. Here's a question from the Reddit. Seeking advice. Okay. Um, you're Char- up, love God. Charming oh, Wait God. says, okay, people, I need some help. Got you, baby. I've been wanting to get my nose pierced on both sides, but I haven't told my parents anything. And for context, I'm not rebellious whatsoever at LMAO. So mm-hmm. I'm not sure whether to just fuck it, get it pierced, and come home. Or should I talk to my parents and hint that I want piercing? I'm Mexican. My parents are not fans of facial piercings. But not gonna lie, I don't think they'd be livid, you know? Please, let me know your thoughts. Should I get my nose pierced on Ooh. both sides? All right, my, my, gut, my gut is saying 
Because I know that there's certain things that my parents, if I did, my parents would be like, aw, I don't like this. And they wouldn't be livid. And then I know there's certain things that they would be fucking livid about. So if your gut is, they're not going to be livid. Like, just do it. I live by the motto, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. They they said they wouldn't, the parents wouldn't be livid? No. They wouldn't okay. be like, li- I mean, they'd still yeah, be really mad. Yeah, yeah. But they wouldn't, be, they like wouldn't be like, you're kicked out of the house. I would say maybe get one first. I was going to say try to get one. Get one, see how mad they are. Because it, it, it would they also might- be really funny if they were like, What's her name? It was Charming something? Charming Wait. Charming Wait. I know that's not your real name. Charming Wait. But <laughs> no, listen here, Charming Wait. It's like automatic Reddit user. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Charming Wait. Um, she probably doesn't even know that this is her <laughs> like own Reddit name. Um, it is Charming Wait. Uh, you should get one. See how mad they get. It would be pretty funny if they were like just a right before livid. And you're like, oh, well, that was okay. And you went and got another yeah. one the next day. <laughs> and then there's like, are you fucking kidding me? You're like, really? Yeah. You should get the one that's like, oh, at least it can't get any worse. At least you don't have two. two. <laughs> and you're like, oh, <laughs> that's the plan. I got the appointment. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Thanks, thanks do one. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. you do one, two wombo combo them. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got a few more questions. Oh. What? Or, I'm sorry. What if you get like a real egregious, like you get a forehead piercing. And they get really upset. Stay with me. And it's like, okay, fine. I'll take it out on the condition that I can get my nose pierced. And then they're like, oh, okay, fine. So they think they've... Oh, yeah. They think they've won. Because that'll heal. Dude, I like Eventually. this. Love God manipulation? This is really, Love really cutting edge Manipulation stuff. God. Manipulation God. Gaslight isn't... It's not real. You made it up. <laughs> and you're crazy. Okay, uh, and you're crazy. Lucy Your wants to know... Your mom was right about you. <laughs> Lucy right. wants to know, how many times a day do you think of each other? <laughs> Nonstop. Okay, you have a real, That's where a you real say question because I'm just reading the, a bunch of people. I'd probably say once every other day. Okay, hurt my feelings. Am I there. once a day? There's no way I come up in your mind once a day. No, well, no. Uh, I have like an issue with like object permanence when it comes to people. Uh. If you know what I mean, like if I'm not around someone and I don't really talk to them, like nothing personally, I just like forget because I get exist. so caught up in my like my life that's just so busy that's, you know that's good but i do i, I mean, think of it, like occasion i'm like oh i should play magic or something like that the i have these relentless One, rats every that other are sitting day. on my well they're sitting on my desk rats relentless rats oh uh, uh, uh. and i literally have them for you and so i literally almost every time i sit at my desk i go huh gianni i gotta give him those <laughs> <laughs> gianni I should that's, have brought them today. I literally left from my house and forgot them. That's love advice. If you want to keep your man thinking about you, you leave something at their house. Leave your underwear on his desk. <laughs> or they're relentless rats. You epoxy that shit on the desk. And then they never take it. And they never take it. Yep. Okay. Someone here wants to know on Instagram. What? What's one thing you guys have learned from each other? Mm. I will say how to operate better on a set. Because I like... You know, you were like joking or whatever, but you were kind of like more of a veteran when it comes to sets. Mm -hmm. Because I was always like guest starring here or there or like series or like recurring. Yeah, yeah. And so I never really had like a solid like home. Mm -hmm. Uh, And you've been, like you said, on two two time series regular. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say that. And then also just like camera angles and wide shots. I've never thought like, oh, this is a tighter shot. I have to... (laughs) I'm going to be more serious. Yeah, yeah. It's more technical side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that. And uh, magic. But I I hate it. Do it's, you hate magic? It's a love-hate relationship. It's... As Did you all. get into it because of... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you just turned everybody out. Because I... You, yeah, well, yeah. I was there. We like... The, very influential. We yeah. were there for three months and it was like, okay. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, <laughs> it's really hot outside. Like, yeah. It's really hot. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go sit inside with cardboard cards. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was, it was season two. It was season two that I taught you how to play. It was actually during the mall fight. And I still have the same skill level as I did <laughs> <laughs> in season two. No, I no, think I've no. won against you like twice. No, you that, that freaking cold deck. Oh, four times. No, you definitely <laughs> won way more than that with that red-white deck. Yeah. Well, that yeah, the, combo deck. The cold deck is cool, but it's just like not If very, I just kill your commander, you just, yeah. Well, and it's also not very fun to play. Because it's yeah. just like, I'm not playing with you guys. I'm just here. Well, some people love combo decks like that, though. Yeah. That's like what Yugi, playing Yu-Gi-Oh is like. 
Is it? Yeah, it's just like, I'm breed? doing my combo, I'm doing my combo, I'm doing my combo, I win. Pot of greed? Have you seen that meme? <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Pot I play Pot of Greed! <laughs> we draw three! <laughs> That's, That's not, not how that works. <laughs> yes, it is! Which allows me to draw Pot of Greed! <laughs> I play Magic Force! <laughs> All right, guys. Roll my dice. Bounces pot of greed back to my <laughs> hand, and then I play pot of greed. I thought he's like, okay, so now I swing so and then you I... die because you have no modules. <laughs> oh, he's supposed to be here. Hey, he's got to kill the guardian. <laughs> that that is what it do. Oh, yeah, like, that's <laughs> that's what that's what it do, Yugi. <laughs> that do be what it do, Yugi. Okay, if you could much. time travel to a specific time period, which would you choose and why? I mean, like, any any time in the past is like, I can't. Oh, yeah, you just can't. die. I have diabetes. <laughs> I'll die in, like, a few months. So, no. so like, if I want to, can I go back or is it just, like, Johnny's like, I don't know, the 90s. <laughs> yeah. No, but, yeah, like, you go back to any time frame and be able to live in that time frame. Meaning. Oh, like, midnight in Paris? Meaning, oh, meaning oh, like, you, you wouldn't. diabetes? Yeah. In that time frame, you wouldn't have to worry about diabetes. But you just uh, have to worry about. The other problems of that time period. Well, just being autism? stupid. Yeah. What about, like, when did they invent bread? <laughs> yeah. Like then. Uh, <laughs> when did they then. not know what carbs were? <laughs> I don't want to look at the calorie or the fat <laughs> nutrition facts. This is really dangerous, but I would oh. go to the dinosaur times. Because I just want to because like they they have all this stuff where it's like, this is what dinosaurs looked like. And then later on they're like, no, they have feathers actually. And then it's like, well, here's their roar. And then no, actually they have that. Yeah. I just want to know what they actually look like. Because have you seen, like, they did, like, what our animals would look like if they were extinct and uh, archaeologists discovered them. And they, like, try to recreate them the same way we do today. Oh, and they're way different. And, like, elephants, they don't have their trunk because there's no bone. And so they just oh. have, like, these really weird, like, skin-tight, just, like, naked creatures with no fur. And, like, bats, instead of having wings, they give them, like, long fingers. Because those are like the bones. Oh. So it's just like, I think we don't know. Yeah, I don't trust the dinosaurs. Well, I don't they trust changed how either. dinosaurs looked recently. Remember now they started putting like feathers on yeah, them. Yeah, they put they the feathers. The, the, the T-Rexes look different. They Have don't you, look like how yeah. they look like when we were kids. Have In, you heard the uh, the roar that they gave the, the T-Rex now? No. No, but I'm assuming it's something ridiculous. It's more like a… It's just like the turtle eating the strawberries. Like, <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It's like a dark gurgle. Like just… Yeah. Oh, God. Real, it's real throaty. It's like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's it. Monica, what era would Don't you go back to? Don't make eye contact with me. Don't look at me. Well, Jordan, <laughs> what era would I go back to? <laughs> yeah, what era would you go? Let's reel this in. What era, what time frame would you go back to? I would have loved to been in my late, mid to late teens in the mid seventies. Oh. And then my twenties, my early twenties in the eighties. Okay. Oh, oh, sick. That actually sounds super fun. Monica, just ask this one. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> just body count. <laughs> See, it works. 40. If you could choose between E ladies or I ladies, what would you choose? E ladies or I ladies? Yeah. Do you know what it means? What is the E in E sorry, girls? E -girls <laughs> sorry. E girls oh. or I ladies? It what sounds like a more chivalrous version of the E girl. Am I crazy? What is an I lady? Hi, ladies. Nuts on your face. <laughs> oh! One of the art, the artists that we were looking at her art yesterday, the one that did the what's her name? Danny. Hi, lady. Danny says, "Would you guys draw her a tattoo?" So, are you guys down? I'm a thousand percent down. I'm sorry. I'm but way your way message, down. Danny, you have to get this tattoo, right? Danny, yes. you have to get this tattoo. What we're gonna do is down Gianni, the barrel. Go ahead. Gianni's gonna get thirty seconds. I'm gonna get thirty seconds. Then back to Gianni. Back to me. And we don't have paper in the studio for some reason, so it's going to be drawn on a restroom napkin. And if we tear it, you have to tattoo in the, the tear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and the I'm rule. Throw it into the shot. Oh yeah, crumple that paper. Yeah. You have to get the crumples too. All right. All right. I'm gonna set a, a little, a little timer. Me and for Gianni are not horrible at drawing. I will say. Oh, All right. Okay, that's actually pretty. It's actually pretty Ready? Good. Pretty on your good. mark, yeah. get set, go. All right. I'm not gonna look either. Um. Make it big too, Gian. Don't make it crazy. It's tiny. Oh my goodness. I'm so curious what he's going to do. Gianni, I will say Gianni's art. I'd say my art style is I just draw me eating people. And mine's very anime. Gianni's is more cartoony. And it's a lot of disfigured people. And switch! 
<laughs> switch, 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 switch. Okay, this is a disfigured person. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ooh. He's got real nice line work. You better draw that shit good, bro. Not there aren't gonna be any blowouts with this. Is that like is that like a tattoo term? This is smooth. Wow. And switch. <laughs> Just a, a purple pen on the white paper. How many fans have you say have gotten tattoos of your artwork at all the cons you've been I to? Think three. 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 Switch. <laughs> That's, I don't know. We're well, in the home many, stretch. How many thirty seconds are we allotting? I have two minutes to do it. There, I feel like we got to just finish it. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Go! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Stop. Awesome. That's our art. It's <laughs> it's Noah. It's Noah being eaten by Candace, and it's got the words forgiveness underneath with a broken heart. Because we have Noah? to learn to move on if we want to survive in this world. Wait, did we answer any of Shola's questions? I don't think so. Yeah, two questions. <laughs> yeah. Do I throw? Do I just do them? Real quick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, Sholito. Now. A song that reminds me of Gianni. I remember when we first started hanging out, I was really surprised that you were a really big fan of the White Stripes. Love the White Stripes. Yeah, I was really, really shocked to hear that. I just was not expecting that. Um, so fell in love with the girl. I remember just, I don't know if I picked you up or I just remember being in the car with you and listening to that song. So whenever that song comes on, I'm like, oh, yeah. It's a badass song. Yeah, Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I There's is. also another song that I'm not going to remember the name of, but you wanted to use it as like a serial killer montage. And it's like something with a hook. Yeah. It was um, Echoes. No. I have an idea for that. Uh, okay. So sorry. Okay. What reminds you of me? Uh, I don't know. It's this little, um, it's Dutch. <laughs> is it really? It is. Is it a foreign language? It is. Whoa. But there's barely any words in it. It is, uh, I think, a new tune. Picture of an eel. Ready? Ready? <laughs> yeah. Just because you're just a chaotic, I would say chaotic good. Chaotic good. Chaotic good. Borderline neutral. I've had a lot of actually uh, uh, debates with my friends of whether I'm chaotic good or chaotic neutral. We were like trying to figure out what everyone is. Yeah. I think on a good day, you're chaotic neutral. Or chaotic, chaotic good. Chaotic good. Yeah. Bad days are chaotic neutral. Yeah. I'd say you're probably... I don't want to say lawful good. Lawful good? No. You're like in between... It's lawful, chaotic, and evil, right? Sure. Yeah, I'm lawful. I'll, I wait, will, no, no, no. It's, wait, wait, wait. I will kill you with the it's law. It's lawful, chaotic, and what's the other one? Neutral. neutral. No, 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 no. Because it's... You can say lawful good, lawful bad, lawful evil, lawful. Neutral good, neutral awful. No, 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 no. It's it's like chaotic good, chaotic evil, chaotic neutral. Lawful good, lawful neutral, lawful evil. Right? I think so. Yeah. Yes. So then what's, because the, what's, there's three on the description and there's three categories. I thought it was just lawful good, lawful neutral evil. I don't know. True. You can be neutral, neutral. Chaotic, neutral, lawful, evil. Okay, so it is, you were right, Monica. It is neutral. I'd say you were neutral good. I'm just good to everyone? Yeah, I feel. I'm just a great guy. Yeah. Just Jordan, well, I'd say lawful good. Or no, you'd probably laugh. I don't know. Pretty chaotic, bro. Have you heard oh his God. rap? 
What? Have you heard him on SoundCloud? Oh, yeah, you're pretty wild for that one. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Monica's lawful good. <laughs> Wait, was, what am I? I'm lawful good? Yeah, I feel like you're lawful good. What is it? That means I'm... You're lawful? And I'm good. And you're good. <laughs> what does it mean? You're just really good. Okay, I can read it. I'm La- a good guy. Lawful good. Describe the characters or things as systematic, orderly, and principled. Lawful good characters. Examples. Uh, Hermione Granger. Promote the greater good while following established procedures or rules. I was waiting between lawful and neutral. Let's see where that one is. Uh, You're lawful, but you don't give a fuck. Defines a character or approach that follows a strict code to maintain stability and order. Lawful neutral characters. James Bond. Believe in and support the rule of law no matter whether it's good or evil. Whoa. I'm James Bond. You're James Bond. Wait, James Bond is lawful good? He's lawful neutral. Oh. oh, oh. He doesn't neutral's care who crazy. you are. He will rain the law down upon you. You're? He could be a little orphan baby. He will prosecute you. Prosecute that baby. <laughs> Prosecute that baby. Oh, you with damn. that bed? I'm going to jail. No, I wasn't here for the last episode that you were on, but I'd heard, dude. I had I had coke, diet coke in my trunk. Gianni was coming. I had diet it in coke. my fridge for yeah. like six months waiting. So is that for, just for like Gianni to come over. when I drink soda, I have to drink diet coke because I'm a diabetic, or I fucking love diet coke. Every day I wake up. And yeah. there's a Diet Coke. How many Diet Cokes are you drinking a day? Oh, we don't need a... My doctor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we don't, we don't need a... Get, no, no, no. Um, You're like, shut up. <laughs> Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Yeah, no, guess. Yeah. I would say five. Okay. Yeah. I've been cutting back. Okay. It's like down to three. Three. Okay. It but used five to be like isn't, eight. It was a lot. Yeah. I would just have like the 24 packs I put in the fridge and yeah. it was like... I would Go just, to town. Just chug them. And it was like every couple yeah. days you got to get a new Johnny would have the yeah. shakes. Oh, yeah. If I didn't have the... You'd be like, like yeah, so I cast this. Where's the DC? Oh, so it's so it's caffeine. Yeah, you have a caffeine dependence. Showed up with one. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. Um, I clocked that. <laughs> I'd like to blame it on the diabetes, but I've I've been drinking Don't diet coke sunshine. way before. Don't blame it on a good time. Don't blame it on a moonlight. I'm really scared. Blame it on the diet beaties. Coke. I'm and we're demonetized again. No, I oh. said diabetes. I oh, say, oh, diabetes. Okay. Blame um, it on a beaties. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Right. That was the best thing I had when I, I was I in the hospital. I just can't. I just can't control my sugar levels. I just can't. I just can't. Blame it on the beat. Those carbs are delicious. <laughs> to my grandmother. Yeah. <laughs> Those carbs are delicious. I just can't quit. Coursing through my veins. Gonna drive me insane. And that's no lie. And Do you know the song Sunday I'm must supply. What? Do you know the song I'm singing? Yeah. Blame it on the boogie? Yeah, blame it on the boogie. Right, who? Blame who it sings on the boogie. It? Who sings it? Oh, the boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. You imagine, it's like, oh my gosh, I love that song. Wait, what song is that? You know, blame it on the Ed Sheeran? <laughs> who sings it? Ed Sheeran. <laughs> the boogie. The boogie uh, five. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were a real Ed Sheeran fan. That's what we, we oh, call, call him. call Ed Sheeran. We're, the, we're his little boogies. The boogies. We're his boogies if he's got a runny nose. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've we, actually heard that before. We run to him like a boogies in a cold day. I think yeah. he thinks the song is by Ed Sheeran. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't think that. Because <laughs> baby, you're a fucking boogie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the most I know Ed Sheeran right. is from that movie yesterday. Really? That's how I Were you singing the song about the penguin? Yeah. And he was like, this is the best artist in the world. You will go against him. And then Ed and Sheeran comes out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like small, yeah. quiet British man. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I love I will say though, that fool is a very good songwriter. I'm not saying he isn't, but so it's I'm talking yeah. trash about the I was not I'm his little boogie. <laughs> <laughs> Just, this is the most notoriously Famously awesome, perfect songwriter of our generation. <laughs> oh, hey, man. How you doing, man? How you going? <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, man. Yeah. That was a good engineer. <laughs> <laughs> That's fire. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So we got these drinks. All right. I just wanted, we just wanted to put you to the test yeah. whether or not you can pick out Diet Coke from the lineup. Um, we have four sodas here. They're Jacob, labeled. do we tell them what, what sodas are, are on the board or just let them guess? No. You just got to guess. This is number B. <laughs> all right, We're number B. Starting with number B. And, to, uh, all right, and you run a company? Or? Gianni DiCenzo, welcome to Guess That Diet Coke. Hi. Starting Hi. off first, we have four cups for you. You must guess and correctly predict, or not predict, you must guess correctly which liquid is in 
each numbered letter. And as it goes on, you might you might be like, wait, I thought I'm going to change it. So yeah. you have a chance to oh. change if you want. Okay. But once but, you lock in your answer, yeah. that's it, bitch. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> okay. and you can go back for a one resip. One resip. One resip? That's okay. it, buddy. And I'm, a, I'm allowed to drink water. I can drink it like any amount of time. That's my palate cleanser. Yes. Sure. Okay. All right. Good. Starting <laughs> with letter <laughs> His palate cleanser B. is the Diet Coke and the, yeah, oh, yeah. the other side. Okay. You ever done that? It's gross. Drink number B. Okay, wait. I need my straw. It's right here. I need my straw. Read the I need my straw. That's how I drink. It's All a right. real connoisseur. I will first take it with the water. <laughs> <sighs> Letter number B. Um, <laughs> number B. Exclaimer, some of them were frozen on accident before the filming of this, so it might taste a little fucking weird. That was really sharp. Whoa. It's just really cold, probably. Sharp, says yeah. our contestant. Like, the bubbles really came through. That has, like, a weird aftertaste on my tongue. Am I crazy? What no. do you think this one is? I don't think that this is... I, I have a feeling it might not be Diet Coke. Do I have to say right now? Well, wait, no, I don't no, no. know what the options are. Yeah. I just have to say, wait, guess, okay, okay. Guess. I'm going to say right now, not Diet Coke. Let not it be. Not Diet Coke. I'm going to say it. Would you guess Coca-Cola, Coke Zero? I think it's a Coca-Cola. I think maybe the frozenness Just regular Coca-Cola. No, not regular. I didn't taste sugar. You, I taste syrupy when it's, when it's regular Coke. Okay. I can feel my blood sugar rising. My Here bones. is number letter D. We got to teach you math after this. Um, Drink it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> this one's real. Ooh, slushy. This is one of the frozen ones. That's Diet Coke right there. That's Diet Coke. That's what you're saying is Diet Coke. Oh, that's Diet Coke right there. Wow. That tastes all too familiar. That's another straw, so you don't have to oh, thank you. dirty right. up your water. Dirty up my water? Next up. Keep that all, in the water. It's okay. all my germs. So D is Diet Coke for sure? I'm saying it's Diet Coke. That's not my... Like, that's Lock my... it, but it's, it, you're pretty yeah. sure. All right, yeah. this is number letter C. Okay. Drink it. All right, a little ASMR for you. Do Can it. I just put this straw Drink in the now. cup? <gasps> No. 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 <laughs> That's no. That's no. Wait. Oh, wait. I can't do it again. You get one reset. It immediately has more of a fruity. Oh, this has got to be like a cherry. That's the weird one. It's a fruity so that, that you're saying that's the weird one. The fruity Coke. It's a little weird, but I'm scared about this last one. Number letter A. Part of me feels it's just like not numbers in all in the wrong order. Number too. letter A. All right. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I it. feel like this one's gonna be like drink it. There's no sip it good lick. It's like no bodily. F <laughs> no, okay. Jordan loves that song. Sorry. Which one is this one? This tastes almost identical to that one. It, this one has lime in it. Whoa. This one tastes kind of limey. Am I limey? I'm. He said it tastes identical to which one? To this the fruity one. one? Yeah. Number letter A. Number letter A and number letter C are the same. Okay. Well they sound they, they taste similar. But this one I got like like a little lime in there. Like one. A to little party. fiesta with number letter A. I wanted to party it. All right, Jordan. Party in my mouth. Oh, All no. right. Gianni. Do we your final locked in. Are you locking answer. these in? And I'll tell you how many you got right. First up, number letter B, number letter D, number letter C. Number letter A. Let me, I'm going to taste, I think this is the one I said was That was, Diet yeah. Coke. C, or D. B. Let me. No, D. D you was the D one. D was definitely Diet yeah, Coke. Yeah, you said D was the Diet Coke. And I just have to guess which one's Diet Coke. Sure. Yeah. And I get a lifetime supply if I win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you promise? But if you're wrong, <laughs> we get to spank you bare butt. Monica said she didn't want to, so she's giving her spank to me. So I get two. That's only for platinum members. You can also have mine. If you <laughs> oh, I get three. well now I'm now I'm kind of hurt. 
Okay. To be fair, though, if Shola was here, he 10,000% would be like, I'm taking all of your guys' spanks, and he would take all of them for himself. This is B, letter B. Wait, does he get Number one B. retry total or one for each per one? Flavor, I guess. Oh, okay, oh, per, per flavor. flavor. If we need it. I mean, we already know that C is the fruity one, so we don't need to retry that one. Yeah, okay. All right. I don't know if my my taste buds are fried, but okay. I'm going to say Diet Coke, Coke Zero. Wait, which? What, give me the uh, B. B. Diet Coke. Diet Coke. D. D. Coke Zero. Coke Zero. Uh, C. C. Some, some fruit basket fruit sort of thing. Basket. A is uh, Siest, Fiesta Lime. I'll, okay, so I guess this is just for gravy. All the points in the world. Diet Coke, Coke Zero. Uh, A is Cherry Diet Coke. And C is some weird love child of all of them. All right. Let's reveal. Is Gianni getting a lifetime supply of Diet Coke, or will his butt cheeks be ravaged by my right hand? The fruity one is this new Coke Y3000. Oh, invented by AI. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? It's zero sugar. Wait, this one has... It says it's invented by Wait, AI. This, this is full sugar. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> zero sugar. The, just foam at the mouth. The flavor for this is futuristic. Yeah. And what was it, what number was that one? That was a, C. Right? That was what? C. C. Oh, C? Oh, okay. That was letter C. Letter C. Not number C. Okay. Number letter C. So was I right? Jacob, it's like... letter C. Okay. <laughs> so D, you were like, definitely Diet Coke. And you uh, no. changed your mind. Yeah, yeah. And now you're saying it's Coke Zero. Um, you were, uh, at first I thought we got you because D is Diet Pepsi. And your D first, is Diet Pepsi? First you were like, oh, this is definitely Diet Coke. I was like, we got him, boys. Yeah. And then you again. went and you you tasted and B you th- you, you was like this is not diet coke and you changes changes to diet coke and B is diet coke. Oh, free so. lifetime supply? I'm a little upset I didn't get Pepsi. Yeah. All right, Woo! Gianni, the Woo! DC Lord, Woo! and A was Coke Zero. Oh, I'm gonna have gastrointestinal distress. Sholo actually. <laughs> Sent this to this us. This video, yeah. And he wants you guys to react. I haven't to seen it. this either. He said we have to blind react. The okay. video is how Robbie ended Miguel's career. Okay. This, the, the it's way. already starting off. <laughs> you just go back like one second because I want to see what leads up to this bird. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is? You got to full screen it. Uh, I think that's the fullest it could go. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. that's perfect. All right. How Andy? How Robbie ended? Isn't it just like the stairs? You just broke his back? That's what you think. Let's, let's, let's hear what this person says. By now, and a teacher just now showed up. Because back in my day, we couldn't even raise our voice without the principal spawning. They so should have like been he... here, bruh. But the teacher gets tripped so egregiously, I actually felt so bad. Bro got laid out like some white tape, too. That's <laughs> tough. And the backup Dimitri got didn't even try to box or nothing. He just dipped and left them in the eyes of the hawk. And they started playing <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> After five minutes of that shit, we get to this. I cannot call this anything but plot armor. Because ah! you telling me this play hey man, Dexter I trained. out here able to curb stomp the hot trained a single time in this entire I show. We have seen it. this I man painted even a box. Fence. He can't even train right. And they expect oh. you to watch this and be like, oh my god, Dimitri! Yeah. No, no, free hop! <laughs> my got snuffed! But after that absolute BS, Miguel running up the stage to stop Sam and Tori from boxing. Robbie's over hey. here fighting these Cobra Kai minions hey. coming up the stairs like it's a video game level or something. Miguel tries he really to stop did just Tori one kick and Tori yeah. literally combos him because she ain't trying to hear nothing. And she starts violating Sam straight dragging her by the hair right down the stairs. Nah, that was straight violation. If that was a wig, your career would have been done for. Sam with straight hands actually puts her down. And then Sam hits this right here. Is that the only way you know how to fight? Dirty? And then Tori's just like, you ain't even seen dirty. <laughs> she starts putting on the brass knuckles, and I'm like, hold on. Since when did it get this serious? Stop beefing over a man whose best friend is a 40-year-old caveman. <laughs> Put the fist down. We get back hey, to man. Robbie and Miguel, and the two Hot. supermen are out here boxing. And this time, they're exchanging words. Yeah. We're taking advantage of Sam. I would never. They're way to have it. I could be screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, bro, I don't even know what to say anymore. This is insane. We get don't back let to us Robbie and cool Miguel, stuff. and Miguel is again piecing Robbie. I'm gonna give props where it's due. Miguel was really oh. on hots this whole fight. Like, I'm talking straight greasing him. When he said this right here, 
Like that move? Learned it from your dad. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, I immediately take back my props because peep game. Robbie is right down here, and then Miguel <laughs> shoots the kick up to this rail. My dog. <laughs> Where was you aiming? <laughs> that little little out of here. This is OD. <laughs> and after this, we get more Superman banter. Yeah, you this guy in the pod. So where he Robbie funny. actually grabbed the utensils. He I started hitting him. Was like, this right here. I was like, hold on. Oh, he in the kitchen. <laughs> we right that now. Move. All he had to do was fail two strikes for Miguel to get back the <laughs> upper hand. And he ends up flipping my boy to the floor. Had him pinned mm. down. And after this point, I'm just it assuming Miguel was going to rip his arm off, bro. Young Justice ass villains. <laughs> and then he gets a flashback. Hey, bro. If you ever touch my son like that again, I'm going to end up smashing your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and he lets him go. I'm going to end up smashing right. your mom. This is where he lost his sanity. <laughs> he slams the back of his neck and then locks his knee down. And after that, all I heard was a finisher. Hey. <laughs> and he actually did that and part. He lands right on his that. spine, yeah. ending his entire fighting career. This is on some D roll shit, bro. Rock Lee, even. All because kids can't keep their shorties in check. We got my boy Miguel at the end X. of the stairs hitting the Yamcha. And Robbie just. Where's the life? No, literally. Like, he disappears. He basically. And y'all just let him dip? He not even in the next scene on the same railing. Y'all let people disappear like that? <laughs> I'm gonna do that too. Wake up, filthy. That's Yo, who's this guy? Dude, he's funny. He's that got a lot of anime references too. That Zephyr. Really Zephyr. Dude, he's funny. I, 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 my kick was warranted though, I will say. Bro. I, do you see I, how long I, I painted that fence for? What? I painted that fence. I painted that house. Never mind. You know what I will say about that <laughs> is scene that a, is they brought yeah, in. Yeah, reference. Yeah, uh, that's what he's painting. They redid the entire like um, training montage, but Dimitri was like a bitch. The entire uh, time. That's uh, funny. Okay, okay. No, for that specific scene, they um, because you didn't train a ton. When they first started doing it, they just had your double fighting me, and he uh, couldn't yeah. kick high enough for me to take the reaction to go into the trophy case mm. so they brought Gianni in oh really and yeah Gianni was actually one that was able to do it that so, was really like nerve wracking too because uh, I was, was under, like your first time ever fighting well that and I was yeah. under age and so I pumpkin I'd like have to leave oh. and they were like we have five minutes we have five minutes yeah. and we hadn't even started our fight yet it was the last scene we sh had to shoot for all of season yeah. two it was, it was the like longest... the last day of filming the last five minutes of filming season two. Longest and five I was minutes. Begging them to let me be the person that Gianni kicked through the glass. Cause basically, if you look, it's my stunt double um, who gets kicked through the glass, uh, Chris. And when he gets kicked through, when a stunt double does it, he has to block his face, right? Cause obviously you're gonna tell it's not me. But if I get kicked, it would have looked so much cooler if Gianni kicks me and then it's boom and you see my face like, what the fuck just <laughs> happened? Oh, but they didn't As let you. They wouldn't let me uh, go through the glass. My I, Hito, uh, the stunt coordinator, I think he would have been down, but my mom went up to him and was like, I do not want any glass cuts on my son's face. Oh, oh. Will not let him. Oh. And Hito was like, okay, yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, because they had like the explosive squibs to like yeah. blow it up. And then, yeah. yeah, the glass did like. Shh. Yeah, it's not It's not that, that Chris would hit the glass. Yeah, the impact then, is not causing it to break. Yeah, there's it's little. It's wired to break. There's yeah. charges, electrical charges on the corners of the glass that at the exact moment that I would hit, they detonate it. That's, that's how all glass yeah. work happens. We did that with the table. The glass Did that table. with the table? Yeah, yeah. When, that was really cool. That was John that went there, right? Yes. John Gir. Some Shout cool John. behind the scenes. I, I love that. Although the yeah. actual frame was the frame was <laughs> not breakable. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. There's this, a, there's been a ton of stunts on this set, or not this set on Cobra Kai that like when Miss Janelle took the fall in season two when Mary punches her over the railing, mm. she had to do that twice. That's a yeah. brutal fall. And the just the normal, the Miguel fall. They oh, actually just Noah dropped took? someone. Yeah, Noah. Literally, it was just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and just fucking jumped off. We were like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> and they did they did multiple takes. Yeah, yeah. They did multiple takes of that. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. Before we go, we got to do Song of the Week. So, Love God. Ooh. They don't call me Love God for my singing quality. I'll warn you right now. <laughs> <laughs> they don't call me that for anything. Uh, all right. Ready? This is my Song of the Week by by Alex G, and it's called Treehouse. I really like it. Uh, okay. 
Do not enter written on the doorway. Why can't everyone just go away? Except for you, you can stay. <laughs> what do you think of my treehouse? <laughs> That's why they call it that. Um, my song of the week is uh, Soul to Squeeze by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I've been listening to that song a lot this week. Yeah. Um, it's just got a really sick bass line. And I just love the the first line Anthony Kiedis sings is, I got a bad disease. And it's just, I just, <laughs> I just, when I was like in first grade, it was the first time I heard that song and I was like, yeah, I'm diseased. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I just red, thought it was cool. Those are yeah. very different genres. Yeah. Well, mine's like, like, it's like head bobbing kind yeah. of funky rock. Okay. I love yeah. That. But uh, boom, 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 boom. Monica, you got your badass. Yeah, mine is Little Dark Age MGMT. You've been on like a, a techno, not techno. What would you call that? Like a, like a synth wave. Yeah, you've been yeah. on a synth wave recently. I like it. Thank you. Sounds yeah. Thank you. Dark. Thank you. Sing it. Sing it. <laughs> it does. The, the lyrics Gianni's are kind, like, oh my god. The lyrics are, are kind of dark. Should have picked a different song. It's like I grieve in stereo. The stereo sounds strange. You Ooh. know that it f- hides. It doesn't go away. Ooh. If oh my I God. get out of bed, you'll see me stranded all alone. This song's actually about I'd... STDs. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I see. I When she sang all that, I thought, oh, STDs. Yeah. Gonorrhea. I remember when you said gonorrhea. What's yours, uh, <laughs> what? Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Mine is I'm going to go canon. with the, the hyperpop route. route is a song by DeFalco. It's called Fire in a Pastel Sky. Oh. Fire in a pastel yeah, sky. Damn, this guy is this Picasso. What's yeah. this really the song title? Fire in a pastel sky. Something and I'm about to cry. Something like that. Like, oh, uh, they're always like, crying in those hyper pop yeah. songs. I really yeah. miss oh, you. Like, that one's about hemorrhoids. Yeah. Yeah. Fire in a pastel sky. Fire in a pastel sky. <laughs> 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 you ever had fire in the. You know? Bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, yeah, sign us out. Woo! <laughs> Woo! You are. Uh, you got one half of the podcast. Oh, yeah. I'm one half of your podcast host, uh, Jacob Scott Thomas Bertrando. I am the uh, squeezing of souls uh, half. And we have, to my right. I I am the temporary other half of the Lone Lobos podcast. I am the giver of souls that are subsequently juiced. Your name? Oh, I'm Gianni DiCenzo. And where can we find you? I don't know, man. Trying to find myself. <laughs> <laughs> do, you have, um, do you have an Instagram? Or? Oh, yeah. uh, I'm over there. Oh, <laughs> stop and sensitive. I'm diabetic. Uh, I'm over on. <laughs> Get out of my treehouse. <laughs> you can yeah, do that. Enter. Um, <laughs> don't use Alec G's words in vain. Sorry, I'm, what'd you say, I'm diabetes? Gianni Ducenzo, <laughs> and I'm I'm on Gianni Ducenzo Instagram page. It's just my first and last name. Flinching so hard because he beats me. (laughs) He just is stretching. I'm just stretching, bro. When you're as traumatized as me, man, you pucker. Oh boy, does he pucker! And we're out. (laughs) (laughs) This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production, produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM, with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos.